In the Pacific Northwest, a consortium of university and industry partners is finding innovative ways to produce bio-based, high-value chemicals. AHB, Advanced Hardwood Biofuels Northwest, has been instrumental in developing the technology that can take sustainably grown poplar trees and turn them into biochemicals and biofuels. These processes have much less carbon emissions per unit of energy of fuel. And then the second thing is, you know, there'd be huge economic benefits if you were raising and processing the fuel right here in the region that you use it. Poplar demonstration sites have been established in Washington, Oregon, California, and Idaho, as well as a demonstration by a refinery in Oregon. The AHB conversion process involves several stages, and producing bio-based chemicals is the first step in building the bridge to biofuels. The ultimate goal is a renewable and more environmentally friendly source of fuel for cars, trucks, and aircraft. Through the work of AHB and others, the technology for biofuels is in place. Biorefineries will need to produce a broad suite of products to buffer against fluctuating oil prices. Crude oil is about $50 a barrel, <laughs> you know, and six months ago it was $100 a barrel. In fuels you see very big swings in, in pricing over time, whereas you don't really see those swings in biochemicals. One of the most financially promising bio-based chemicals is acetic acid, commonly known as vinegar in its diluted form. Concentrated acetic acid is used in the manufacture of many products including paints, plastics, tennis shoes, and textiles. Worldwide, around 12 million metric tons are produced each year. The vast majority, almost 90%, comes from petroleum derivatives. Right now, you can make acetic acid and sell it for a profit. Whereas if you went all the way down to jet fuel, for example, given the low price of jet fuel these days, it'd be pretty tough. Biochemicals is it's sort of the portfolio approach to biorefining uh, where you want to have multiple products so that you improve the overall profitability. The process starts when poplar trees are cut into wood chips and brought to the refinery where the wood is broken down into sugars using steam and acid. The sugars are fermented into acetic acid. The benefits of making acetic acid in the Pacific Northwest are that there really isn't much in the way of acetic acid production in the Northwest. There are various industries that utilize acetic acid. One of those is the airline industry. Acetic acid is easily converted to potassium acetate, the primary de-icing compound used on runways. Potassium acetate is a more environmentally friendly option to conventional de-icers such as sodium chloride salts. Utilizing poplar trees, a renewable resource grown in the Northwest, sounds like a great idea in a way for us to potentially get a product that definitely fits in with our mission to be a cleaner, greener port. Making acetic acid from poplar trees reduces the need for petroleum and reduces CO2 emissions by over 40% depending on the process used in the refinery. When you start to look at the whole life cycle of chemical production, you start to see opportunities, particularly here in the Northwest, to advance bio-based materials. If we have an efficient process to produce acetic acid, then you can easily add on the downstream processes if you want to produce a fuel. For us at SeaTac Airport, uh, aviation fuels derived from poplar trees and from other feedstocks that we know grow well here and that we have an industry for make a lot of sense. What we're planning on doing is basically scaling up the existing demonstration plant. We are actively in project development right now for a, a commercial scale biorefinery that we would like to build adjacent to our demonstration facility in Boardman. The goal of this commercial biorefinery is to revitalize the rural community with jobs, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and be the first step toward a renewable chemicals and fuels industry in the Pacific Northwest.